Well, you'll recall a few weeks ago I showed you several trees that can add some winter interest to the landscape. And today I wanted to show you some of the shrubs and smaller trees that can also make your winter landscape look beautiful. And the first shrub that I want to show you is one that we actually talked about earlier this summer. And it's one of my favorite shrubs. This is the oak leaf hydrangea. And I'm actually going to plant one of these in my own yard when I get enough shade going. But this actually is a wonderful shrub for year-round interest. You can recall it had beautiful flowers on it in the early summer and now we've got some really pretty fall color going on with the leaves. Now we did get some leaf scorch on these especially since this is out in an area that gets a little bit more sun and we had such a harsh summer that we do have some leaf scorch. So our leaves aren't as pretty as they usually are but you can also see that we're just starting to get some really brilliant color and some years the color on this shrub can be absolutely gorgeous in the fall and it holds its leaves for a fairly long time in the fall but once it loses its leaves there's still a lot of interesting things on this shrub now you can see here that the bark is actually exfoliating and as we look down here this is very interesting in the winter time it has a tan and also kind of a grayish color to it and the other part of this plant that's really pretty during the winter are the dried flower heads and the, right over here you can see one they really do look like they're part of a dried flower arrangement and if you leave these on over the winter it adds a very nice lacy effect on top of this coarse exfoliating bark and it can really be pretty in the landscape well this is only one of the shrubs that I wanted to show you and right over here is another one and we're going to take a look at it Well, the next shrub that I wanted to show you is a broadleaf evergreen. This is Iliagnus, Iliagnus evingi to be exact. And it is an evergreen that is actually hardy to zone 6 b So we could use it in the southern part of the state and also in the northeastern part. In other parts of the state, you might want to plant it in a more sheltered location. Now, this shrub is not for a small space. It can get anywhere from 8 to 12 feet tall and about 8 to 10 feet wide. So it's not something that you're going to want to plant right underneath that little spot in front of the window because it'll get out of hand fast. However, it is a beautiful shrub if you've got some space. It provides good screening and it's also attractive to birds. So if you like to attract birds to your yard, you might think about planting this. Now this is also a beautiful shrub because of the leaves. You can see here we have some nice shiny green leaves and then we have these silvery dots on the top. These are actually modified hairs that give it a silvery sheen. And when I turn this leaf over, this is just as pretty as the top. Look at that, it looks almost silver plated and that really catches the sunlight nicely during the winter. And now you can see we have a lot of brown dots on here and these actually carry over into our new growth, our new wood here. And it has a very nice, just slightly rough texture, kind of like felt or something here. And this is very pretty in the landscape. Now, it has a tendency to get these tall sprouts on it and you can actually keep these under control by pruning them back and the plus side of this is these look beautiful in flower arrangements so you could harvest these right now and use them in some of your winter flower arrangements so that this plant can actually add interest to the outside and to the inside during the winter well, let's take a look at another great shrub for the winter Well, this shrub is actually more like a small tree. It can grow anywhere from 15 to 25 feet tall and 15 to 20 feet wide. This is a southern wax myrtle and is actually native to the southeastern portions of the United States. In fact, this is actually found growing in the southeastern portion of Oklahoma. Now, this makes a very nice small tree and again, on this one, it is an evergreen. Now if temperatures get below zero it may defoliate and die back a bit on you. So it's one that we could use for sure down in the southern part of the state. In the north we'd have to be a little bit more careful. However this specimen has been growing well in still water here for several years. Now it has wonderful light green, almost lime green leaves and on the back we've got kind of a bronzy look to the foliage and our new growth here again has that bronzy look but as you look back further on the stems you can see how the bark starts to turn gray and has these nice white lenticels now we have a mature specimen at the arboretum here and you can see on it 
how the bark on it has that wonderful mottled look. The other thing is that lichens tend to grow on this and that adds to that interest for the winter. Now you can actually limb this up like you would for a small tree and it can make a nice specimen for the landscape. We have one final shrub that can really add some color to our winter landscape. Well our last shrub is definitely a bright spot of color in the landscape. That is deciduous holly or possum haw and it's actually native to the eastern part of Oklahoma. If you've driven in the eastern part of the state, you may have seen it growing along the side of the road and it's especially bright during the winter. Now right now we have our nice green leaves which we have on this. They're kind of a dull green color all summer long. We also have our berries that are present and just pretty quick here we're going to lose all of our leaves but these berries will actually persist and they'll just line the branches here and this really can be quite a beacon in the landscape. Now the other nice thing about this tree is it has really pretty bark too after these leaves drop and you can look back here and see what the bark looks like. It's a very pretty light gray, almost a silvery gray color and it's kind of smooth and it shows up very well against evergreens as you might have in the background. So this is a pretty tree. Now it can actually get to be about 20 feet tall. So again, it's not really a small shrub and we could limb this up like we would the wax myrtle and make a very nice small tree out of it. Now it is native to wet and swamp areas. So those are the soils that it prefers. However, it is fairly drought tolerant. Now, when I say drought tolerance, I don't mean that it will excel in drought, however, it won't die completely. So, it's tolerant of a wide range of soils and you need, since it is a holly, you need to have both a male and a female because the females are the ones that are going to set berries, but you need a male present to get a good berry set on this. So try planting a deciduous holly if you have some space and you want some bright color for your winter landscape.